Okay, yeah, so I'm, I, I am really mumbly on these videos, and I'm sorry. Um, let's, here's, we're going to do arcade mode again. We're going to do probably my most, one of my favorite characters. Um, more interesting ones. There's, there's my friend in a pyro outfit. Um, it's the pyro character. Um, interesting thing about these menus is you can navigate them either with the arrow keys, W, A, S, and D, and space, or you can just click on them. Uh, we'll do, see, I don't think that's even accurate over there. We'll do this. This is the barricade. It's, yeah, you might have seen it in a couple of the other character stages. It's really basic. I tried to, oops, I tried to put some kind of, uh, implied narrative with some of the blocks and whatever being broken during each stage. Yeah, get out of here during different character stages, um, but, oops, the power has a pretty interesting, yeah, there's a lot of zombies in this level, pretty interesting play style. It has a flamethrower, she has a flamethrower that gradually builds up the heat bar. Um, the heat bar increases whenever she uses the flamethrower, whenever she runs through, oh yeah, I blew up. Anyway, uh, increases <laughs> whenever he uses this, or say, Runs through steps in the fire and increases all the way there. If it hits a danger zone, you lose health. If you lose all your health, you explode in a shower of fire. Um, probably there's also grenades, sort of like rays that you can throw over there. It doesn't it doesn't get thrown very far. It's mostly to create a barrier. But you can also say throw it, burn the enemy, run through, and that'll also burn. That also sends, like, that's just the enemy on fire. Oops. It's just the enemy on fire. Ooh. Which will allow them to catch the other enemies on fire. It's also got a big axe that you can swing around, hit multiple enemies. Um, the easiest way to get through the zone is just. There you go, that'll blow up. So this is pretty useful. Crowd control. Big crowds of zombies just tend to just burn each other up. Um, but you, sometimes you'll just have to run through burning zombies in order to get where you need to because. Yeah, there's really no other way. But uh, thankfully, I don't heat you up too much so you can just run through them. You can kind of just hold down and run through them for a little bit. But every once in a while, you just need for it to cool down. Let's break those. Set those guys on fire. Uh, let's see, there should be some more. Oops. Yeah, so yeah, if you do it right, you can, uh, you can go a long time without actually getting hit. Like, I just killed 160 zombies there, which would have been a challenge by other characters. Uh, uh, the only problem is. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the only problem is getting through without overheating and dying. Let's burn all these guys. Let's collect all those. Some more tops. Uh, which one of those invisible guys? And there's some, you know, there's some cool atmosphere effects over here that I like. Um, some more zombies there. I guess I can't escape yet. I'll take those down, let's burn that. Um, yeah, one of the problems I have with this game is that once there's... The Kill All Zombies missions are fun as long as there's a steady stream of zombies, but once there's a few of them, then you just end up hunting them down, which is kind of tedious. Um... Probably would help. Like, it, success. Yeah, there you go. They're all dead. Um, probably would have helped if I made like some kind of marker when they get low, sort of the way that, say, like Risk of Rain does it. And I think I had one at some point, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, but yeah, let's get out of here. I, was, I don't remember what the objective this level is. I'm pretty sure it was to just murder all the zombies. Usually it is when there's just generators sitting around there. Um, I don't know, some of them, yeah, but it's kind of, it's stupid. 
axes are really useful also. Just a lot of the characters moves are based on crowd control. So there's an interesting playstyle. You'll see like these these uh, little markers turn blue when you beat them. And data gets saved. Um I'm gonna do the scorched earth level. So you have to you've gotta obtain five samples. And I'm actually gonna go back. I'm going to reload that level just so you can see yeah like if you look at it again like that like the, the layout is different as part of that randomization system that I talked about before like I'm, I'll go do it again just to point it out one more time and there you go so yeah so that's over there you can't get that this time this area right here just completely different, so it randomizes it a little bit, so it's unpredictable. Um, so you can't just randomize the level. I mean, you can, but some approaches will be blocked off and stuff. It's not perfect. It's not that interesting. It's not as anywhere near as good as like say procedurally generating something. But um, this game's really hard, and you can end up playing levels a lot, so it can get really repetitive. So I figured that would be a good way to... Ah, uh, oh crap, I keep <laughs> breaking those vials. Yeah, I died. That would be a good way to put some variety into it. Okay, so yeah, this time I can get through here. Sometimes this is open here. Um, yeah, the certain boxes are marked as randomized. Those trees are randomized. So... Ah, I did it again. This is a good thing I only need. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's up with this text. I just thought it was cool. It just doesn't it doesn't mean anything, and it's kind of nonsensical. But yeah, you can just run through this fire. Those guys are actually the hardest to kill with with the pyro because uh, it's just relatively short range, and they got a really long range ah, fuck. attack that'll prevent you from that prevent you from getting in close. Also on this level Ah shoot. <laughs> also on this level the locations of almost every vial except for that one there are randomized. So you have so I think that's like one of the more interesting uses of it. Because you don't you have to explore the level at the time. Like there's a lot of places they could be, but they're not always there. So, it's, it's, I mean, it's a little bit more interesting than to just kill everything. Levels. Um, yeah, there's, there's usually a couple places where they will be. If I recall. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, these guys are really hard to kill. The easiest way to kill them is to, like, wait at a corner and then axe murderer them. <laughs> around the corner because of the way the collisions work yeah okay yeah no, sometimes sometimes that area is open so I mean yeah like sometimes you will just kind of get lucky and all the paths will be open for you and you just stumble upon them so I mean yeah it's kind of cheap it's kind of cheap design it's not exactly good design but it's interesting. <laughs> um, I think I'll leave this character thing for right now, and then I will, I'll do one for uh, for survival mode next.